Right now at 6, a double death investigation in Huntersville. It started last week when 63-year-old Garinger High School teacher Emma Ogle was arrested for a sexual relationship with a student. She spent a total of six hours in jail before being released on a $10,000 bond. Ogle was supposed to appear in court that afternoon, but that was rescheduled to November 19th. Fast forward to this morning when her husband, Michael Ogle, didn't show up to work. Then shortly after 8 a.m., the Huntersville Police Department receives a call saying there's someone barricaded inside the Ogles' home with a gun. When the SWAT team entered the home sometime before 10 this morning, they found both Emma and Michael Ogle dead. NBC Charlotte's Kendall Morris has been at the scene all day. She is live at 6. Kendall, what's the latest you're hearing from investigators? Well, tonight, police are calling this all an unfortunate situation. Now, the Ogles, they did live at a home just down this secluded driveway, and that's where this whole situation started early this morning. The shocking allegations against 63-year-old Garinger High School teacher Emma Ogle coming to light less than a week ago. Ogle's mugshot and charges making headlines. It's just disgusting. It's shocking, disgusting. CMS says Ogle, a health occupations teacher, had been at Garinger since 2014. She was accused of having a sexual relationship with a student. CMS telling us there was no indication the alleged crimes happened on campus. I don't wish bad on her, but I wish she learned from this lesson. Jail records show Ogle was released Friday after spending six hours in jail. Wednesday morning, police surrounded Ogle's home off Hambright Road. 9800 Hambright Road, 9800 Hambright Road. Responding to a call of a suspect barricaded inside with a weapon. We are getting reports of one shot on scene. The SWAT team entered the home, finding Emma and her husband Michael Ogle dead from gunshot wounds. Police are now looking into the possibility that Emma shot her husband and then turned the gun on herself. Right now, the information we have is that she was still alive when the family member got there and uh, her husband was not. People in the area now stunned to find out what happened on this quiet rural road. Well, it could happen anywhere. As you can see, it could happen anywhere, but especially here that is just so open, so peaceful and uh, it's, it's very sad. Now, CMS did send out a statement saying that it is aware of this whole situation. The district says that social and emotional supports have been deployed for those affected within the district. Live in Huntersville, Kendall Morris, NBC Charlotte.